So the character of Alex, um, really I started from his voice, that was the first thing I had. I had a very, very clear idea of exactly how he'd sound and um, it was a distinctive funny voice. It was sort of a, a very, um, I thought, unusual mixture of naivety but also um, maturity as well. As far as my relation to Alex, um, disappointingly Alex has very little resemblance to me, I think. Obviously there's elements of me in Alex, particularly Alex's geekiness, I think. Um, I wasn't so geeky at Alex's age, it's more something I've grown into. It's almost how I wish I was at that age. I think what I liked about Alex when I was writing him was that he's, um, he's extremely true to himself at an age when that's sort of the hardest thing in the world to be. Paralleling that is Mr. Peterson's story and um, how he goes from being a recluse and a widower who's never really got over the, the death of his wife to being someone who's sort of brought out of his shell a little bit by Alex and it's got that sort of reciprocal thing. Alex's mum, um, my mum thinks that she's based on her, which I've, I've vehemently denied because I never had that in the back of, of my mind when I was writing it, but I think it's maybe inevitable that sort of bits of her slipped in, into that character. Um, my mum isn't a tarot reader, she's a French teacher, but she had to be a character who's quirky and unusual and not someone you'd meet in day-to-day -day life, but at the same time there's elements of her I think that are, are universal and motherly.